Let's look at what Kim C. from Valprazio, Indiana says. Kim says, I bought these. I love pushing myself physically. Both my daughter and I suffer from allergies. <laughs> so I bought these for fun. <laughs> but they did help open my airways. No, they didn't. On days, I felt fatigued from elements in environment. And I quote. <laughs> so this helped open her airways when she felt fatigued from elements in environment. Now, I'm guessing she means allergens, you know, pollen, dander, that sort of thing. Well, this isn't going to help reduce any of those because yeah, you might suck in some extra, you know, pure oxygen without allergens in it for one breath, maybe two, but unless you're sucking on one of these all day, in fact, unless you're using one of these all day, <laughs> it's not going to help with your allergies. I don't take any allergy medications, so this helped on days I wasn't feeling my best. Placebo effect. Placebo effect placebo effect. <laughs> this one's an interesting one. It's from Miss James. No location given, but a verified purchaser on Amazon. We have an area surrounded by fire. <laughs> okay. I mean, good place to have oxygen then. There has been hazardous and very unhealthy air around. I had gotten a little desperate and was searching for anything I thought might be good under those circumstances. <laughs> this oxygen in a can surprised me, probably from all the flames shooting into her face using them around fire. <laughs> I didn't know such a thing existed. Well, no one knew it existed until they found out about it. When I got it, I definitely used it up and also told, told multiple others in the area about it. There's been no doubt we weren't getting the oxygen we needed here. <laughs> There has been no doubt that they weren't getting the oxygen that they needed there. Well, if all they had was some fire around them, and I'm guessing she meant there were wildfires in the area, I don't think her house was literally burning down around her. <laughs> but wildfires far enough away from you that you're not actually evacuating are far enough away that they're not consuming the oxygen that you're breathing and they're probably not interfering with your breathing too much. Otherwise, if the smoke from a wildfire is so bad that it's making it difficult for you to breathe, evacuate, <laughs> go away, <laughs> fuck off to somewhere else. It's dangerous there. So I'm guessing the situation wasn't that dire and they were just worried about some soot that was in the air. Well, again, like with the allergens, this ain't gonna help you because you take one or two puffs most of the shit you're breathing is still going to be full of whatever soot and carcinogens and stuff might come from a fire. So, if you're really worried about your health, get away from the fire. <laughs> this, she says, this has taken the hazardous air situation and made it tolerable. <laughs> Again, I don't know how puffing on this every now and then could possibly do that, but okay. She says, next time, I may even try the menthol one to clear things out more. <laughs> because menthol clears out lungs like nobody's business. That's why they put it in cigarettes. <laughs> Brian Malignonian, or whatever, says the can arrived with almost nothing in it. He was able to take roughly, roughly five breaths before it ran out. <laughs> Michael Longan says, total garbage. I believe it was empty. Then got dinged because I could not leave original review. Beware. <laughs> Another person said they previously purchased it with no issues. The canister went dead after only one use this time. Now here, Brutton, or Bruton writes, in Peru at 12,000 feet, you run into problem breathing. A couple shots of this, and you're on your feet adventuring again. This isn't gonna help with severe altitude sickness or severe oxygen deprivation, which is what altitude sickness is. Again, in that situation, you'd want something more like this. Ah, M. Valion says, total scam. 
I blew this on a lighted match and it did nothing, which indicates it's just compressed air. <laughs> The interesting stupidity was that in response to that, a bunch of people jumped down his throat and said, oxygen is not flammable. If you blow it on a lighted match, it should do nothing. It's probably just you. Oxygen is not flammable, but it supports combustion. Aww. If you blow this on a lighted match, it should make the flame larger. That's the effect you should see. Now that being said, don't try it at home because blowing this on a lighted match would be great, except this plastic is definitely flammable. This could all light up and you could have a really bad time This with this thing exploding in your face or some bullshit. So, you know, don't try it. No snappy nickname says, don't buy these for athletic oxygen as the nozzle is too small. Now, no snappy nickname was writing about the smaller two liter version of this product. Again, this is six liters, two liters even less than that. That's almost no oxygen at all. Just to put that in perspective, when I was in high school, we did a lab where we tested our lung capacity. My lung capacity was four liters. If the little can of this contains two liters, that means I could discharge the entire can into my lungs and it would still not fill my lungs completely for one full deep breath. You might say I'm full of bullshit on that one because you've tried this and you've gone and sucked in the, you know, a whole lung full of apparently oxygen. But remember, this doesn't seal tight to your face. So you're actually inhaling a lot of room air along with that oxygen. And that's why it's filling up your lungs and you can still get so many uses out of this. But again, two liters, almost nothing. So even if you think this does have a benefit for athletics, remember with this, you're barely getting much oxygen at all in each breath compared to, let's say, a medical non-rebreather mask. He likes the small cans because they're TSA approved, so he can travel with them. <laughs> Fantastic for anemic travelers who aren't anemic enough to have medical oxygen, but who are un uncomfortable with the low oxygen concentration on flights and secretly wish the masks would drop. <laughs> There are so many things wrong with that last part that I don't even know where to start. First of all, anemia is not a deficiency of oxygen. Anemia is a deficiency of red blood cells, meaning a deficiency of hemoglobin, meaning a deficiency of your body's ability to carry oxygen through the blood. In an, in an anemic patient, their blood, their hemoglobin, is still 100% bound to oxygen. It's not that they need more oxygen, they need more hemoglobin. That's where they're short. So on room air, they're still getting enough oxygen for their blood. Their blood is just shitty. No offense to those with anemia. His other complaint is that low oxygen concentration on flights is a problem. I'm also no airline expert. I don't make airplanes for a living or maintain them. But I have a feeling that they're pretty fucking careful about putting the right amount of oxygen into the plane for humans to live and breathe when at altitude. In fact, it's just compressed air in the cabin. That's why your ears pop. It's compressed to roughly one atmosphere of pressure, which is what you get on the ground, which makes the concentration of gases in airplane air, even at altitude, pretty much the same as what you get when you're standing on Earth at sea level. So, that's bullshit right there, too. <laughs> but he secretly wishes the masks would drop. So he secretly wishes for an air disaster that could terrify or kill everyone on board his plane just to cure his anemia with something that will have no effect on it. Brilliant stuff. Let's look at this one. This is from Jenna in Beverly, Massachusetts. Jenna is an athlete with asthma, and she thought this would be a natural way to help her recover faster when out of breath due, due to sprinting or extreme exertion. It actually did seem to help her at first. Well, asthma is an interesting thing. Supplemental oxygen in of itself will not help with asthma. However, if your airway is partially occluded, and when you're breathing, you can only get a small amount of air through your obstructed airway, well, putting pure oxygen through that small airway will actually be more effective to your breathing than 
regular air because after all, what your body wants out of the air is the oxygen. And if you can only get a small amount of oxygen into your lungs, well, it might as well be as much oxygen as possible in that small breath. So I could see how oxygen might actually help someone with asthma. However, it's a very dangerous thing to say, oh, well, I'm an asthmatic, I'll just run around all day and carry one of these. Well, that'll work to a point. That'll only work if your airway is partially occluded. What you want is the inhaler or other medication that was prescribed to you by a doctor. And if you don't have that, then you should go to a doctor and find out about getting a prescription. Again, I'm not a doctor, don't listen to me. Talk to your actual doctor, that's my point. She says it reduced the need for the inhaler she uses. <laughs> Again, probably not medically sound to forego the inhaler for this. She should ask her doctor. <laughs> One of the benefits she says of this, and this is another reason why this product might work for people who are otherwise healthy or who have illnesses that cannot be assisted by supplemental oxygen, she says as a positive, it required me to slow down and take a deep breath. <laughs> well, that's interesting, Jenna, because I would wager that if you simply slowed down and took a deep breath and practiced some calming, relaxed breathing, that might help you during your asthma attack and it might help your recovery from exercise. Now, that's not bullshit because we all know that concentrating on your breathing can be calming. Not for all people all the time, but it certainly can be. And it can also regulate the flow of oxygen in just normal air into your lungs. So you're not hyperventilating and just blowing out a bunch of oxygen that your body should be absorbing. She also says that it's lightweight and therefore easy to pack in a small gym bag. Well, it certainly is lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> On the negatives, she says the mouthpiece leaves out the nose. As a nurse, I find this to be a waste of O2. You're a nurse, Jenna? Really? A nurse? And you're buying and using this? <sighs> Product does not specify how many puffs one should take at a time. Well, Jenna, you're a nurse. You should know how much supplemental oxygen you need. It's probably none. <laughs> and she goes on to say some other bullshit.